Welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza 0. As Majima is helpfully reminding us, we need to go murder the Makoto Makimura. But, uh... First, we have unfinished business with someone else. This is exactly where I was standing when we finished the last video. And it's very convenient, then, that, uh... We're only going over here. <laughs> we need to see if Ryuji is okay. I don't mind. Is hitting someone with a baseball bat assault or assault with a deadly weapon? I don't know if it counts as a deadly weapon or not, is the thing. Oh. Well, I can't help but notice that they're all wearing pants. Strange child. That's weird. Guy in love didn't even get a first name. Guy gets a full name? Mm, right. And as I glance to the bottom of the screen and actually read the text that has appeared, I suddenly realize this is totally a prequel thing, isn't it? This Ryuji Goda is from another game, isn't he? Yakuza 1 doesn't take place until 2005, then... Yeah. He could be a grown-ass man in any of the, uh, subsequent Yakuza games. I burn to know, but I refuse to look it up. Maybe I'll give in to the temptation later. You okay, lady? I'm just gonna put the fish in here. Oh! I already had a pink bun chan. Huh. Oops. You know, like that last subquest told us, uh, maybe it's more important that I won one specifically for that little girl. Where the fuck am I going? Uh, what? Uh, 
Oh, the dragon. Yeah, okay. I did a thing for them last time. Hi. I feel like there's a story there. Cursed handcuffs? Zap a gun? Let me see something. Okay, this wall drastically reduces the amount of money lost when you get shaken down, and it's also said to give you financial luck. This one it raises your financial luck slightly, and when shaken down, you can stash money inside, reducing the amount taken from you. This just seems to be better in every way. Hmm. This shotgun can strike targets over a wide area, spraying them with strange pellets that deliver a jolt of electricity. Yes, Fehu Sensei. Sure, I wasn't planning to do this, but. Uh. So, if I finish all the training with him, does he just turn into a restaurateur? Like, uh, in terms of interactions? Oh, I'm just putting off the inevitable. But that's a bad call. Since it took me like four videos to get through the uh, end game when uh, Kiryu had to rush Kusei. Is that dog alive? I've never seen it. I think its tail is moving slightly. Fine. I don't know what that means. God damn. All right, my turn. It looked like I was holding the block that whole time. He just went straight through me. God damn it. Dip in my inventory real quick. Oh, jeez. Oh, I see. No heat moves. Because I'm standing right in front of him with a heat bar, and I can't use the smash him in the fucking head move.
Congratulations on making me do that. Thank you. Yeah, right. No, you completely kicked my ass and I had to use my most powerful healing item. Of how much this guy knows. Sup. We're going to the jungle. Piranhas in the rivers and huge snakes in the forest. It's a holiday spot only for the most adventurous. I kind of have to go with a professional wrestler, don't I? Fuck is the children of the god? God, sorry, the goddess of children amulet. Why is she so expensive? Oh, right, criminal underworld. Hmm. Eh, fuck it. We got shit to do. Places to go, people to kill. Fuck it. Damn it. Completely disoriented on the map there. Oh. I seems really transfixed by the clown. Oh. Oh, there are more of you. Unfortunately, the merchant sign is not the, uh... 
Stupid combo already playing out. No. How dare you? He's literally in front of the store I wanted to go to. God damn it. No, 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 I'm not even going to address that. Nope. He's imagining his eyes are lighting up. I'm just imagining this friendship storyline ending with Majima running around town in his skivvies. Energy drinks. Gotta, you know, stay hydrated. <laughs> Gotta keep those fluids up. What an ugly array of products. Sorry, just the colors are so garish. I feel like that's an 80s thing more than a Japan thing. Do anything. I wonder if that's like a joke. None of these are exactly what I had in mind. Definitely one of these. Oh, fuck, I fucked it up. Yeah, you do this. What? Have a bunch of Tauriners. Fine, let's get some extreme lemon. You are welcome for shopping with you. Never mind. Uh, that made no sense, even in my head. I don't know why I said it. Oh yeah, those guys are done already. Fine, let's go see how that did. Huh. Seems like a classy place. Oh yeah, I'll actually check this. Get over those dresses with the holes around the hips. Oh, all right, fine. I'll just clobber you. Did that guy just go down all? Right? No, he did not. Fine. Let's do this the old-fashioned way. Single devastating combo. And so things were done in my day. Oh, yeah. Mm, vitamin C. Too far. So, place your bets, folks. Is uh, Club Venus a strip club or a lesbian bar? Hi. 
I guess it's 88. It's probably not a lesbian bar. No! Well, I didn't get that fancy thing, but I did get a rage ring, whatever the fuck that means, so that's cool. No, no not in there. Uh, here! Oh. Oh, right! Forgot I even had that. This cursed ring is said to enrage enemies, intensifying their attacks against the wearer. You know, I'm not going to wear that. Just a thought. What's with the little burners just lying around? Maybe they belong to homeless people. No, no one will just leave that lying around and then leave. Oh, you bastard! I got like six hits in before I was gonna trigger this. You probably would have fucking spin dash like Sonic the Hedgehog. No, no, no. This does not get to happen. You best believe. Anyway, we're heading way over here. But uh, I'll see you then, on the next episode of Let's Play Yakuza Zero. See you then, Burning Dog fans.